Hi, hello everyone. This is Nishan Ajmuthi, your Ajio Canada Academy. So here we are with another interesting topic in this Economy Booster Sessions for just 10 minutes daily. So and the topic is Precision Agriculture. So this is indeed one of the important topic with regard to UPSC Prelims perspective. So here we go. Let's have a quick look into what is the so-called Precision Agriculture. We know that Indian economy, even today, Agriculture being one of the most important sector is the backbone of our country India and agriculture being in the primary sector of our country India it is indeed very important to improve them every now and then because even today majority of people are depending upon what the so called agriculture sector and the rural development is highly dependent upon the development of the primary or the first sector of the economy that is agriculture. So innovations and developments with regard to technological perspective, don't you think so is important with regard to agriculture? And for that, one such solution is none other than your PA. What is that? Precision agriculture. Let's quickly have a look into what is this so-called topic all about. So before that, in the description box of this particular video, you can just go through the, uh, you know, my Unacademy profile link and also the free class link. For uh, one link which will take you to all my free classes which happens at 6 to 7 p.m. in Unacademy, you can just go through. Here are the schedules of my other classes. So now without much of delay, here we go my young officers, a quick look into precision agriculture. So the so-called term, okay, it is an approach where the inputs are utilized in a very precise or let's say exact amount. So now using it in an exact or precise amount, so then you will be getting the maximum or the average yields compared to the conventional or the traditional cultivation techniques like your crop rotation, your agroforestry, intercropping, sub -coach like that. So a sustainable precision agriculture or PA in the, is the century's the most valuable innovation I can tell you as far as farm management is concerned because precision agriculture is something that is based on what using your ICT information and communication technology. So don't you think so in a technology driven era agriculture also have to be highly technology driven yes and for that we have the precision agriculture. Now, since the so-called topic that is PA is based on sustainable or long-term agriculture and also contributing to the healthy food production, which is indeed very important for maintaining the health and nutritious perspective of all the people, it consists of what the profitability and also increasing production, economic efficiency and also reducing the side effects, which is very, very important with regard to environment because causing a lot of issues with regard to environment has to be stopped. So that is something which can be done with regard to precision agriculture. Now, in this precision agriculture, you can see from this particular picture how it has been done. The solar energy has been utilized. We can see from the grass to the water uh, to the bare soil, how it has been paved in the build-up area. You can just have a look into it. Now, why do you th think that the farmers today need to go for such kind of precision farming? One less, as I told you a couple of uh, you know, seconds before, that is, it is this century's most valuable innovation with regard to farm management because it is based on ICT technology. And this is the most recent innovation technology based on sustainable agriculture. So this is these are the two different reasons why you need them. See, if you want to have a better production, if you want to increase the profit of farmers and to remove the side effects uh, and also to have economic efficiency along with the healthy food production, this will be a good choice. Now, apart from that, if you see today, there are so many reasons why the farmers should take up precision farming. Point number one is if you want to have an increase in agriculture productivity. Second is with regard to soil fertility. We know that fertility of soil is indeed very important for, uh, for the farmers to give a better output. So now making sure that the soil is not degraded. That is one reason. Next is reduction of chemical application and crop production. And making sure that the water resource are being utilized efficiently. And this is very important because water being an important resource. These days there is too much of exploitation of groundwater and also lack of availability of hygiene as well as you know good water right so now efficient use of them is indeed very important through proper irrigation techniques like drip irrigation that this sub coach like that and at the same time another reason why the farmers need to take up precision farming is uh, spreading or let's say dissemination of modern farm techniques so now through this you will be able to improve the quality quantity and also reduce the cost of production and also developing some favorable attitudes from the farmers guys in the so-called modern era of developing agriculture, which is highly technologically uh, technology driven. And thus, the socio-economic status of farmer will definitely be changed by adopting such kind of precision farming because it will give you better output, better income. Also, you can connect this with the so-called big objective of Government of India by the year 2022. What is that? Doubling the income of farmers. 
So this, these are the various reasons why you need precision farming. Here goes the advantage. Agroeconomic perspective, technical and environmental economics. Sab kuch is an advantage. So why not? It's high time that we are resorting to such kind of precision agriculture. Don't you think so? Yes. But then, you know, everything has a good and a bad side. So now with regard to the disadvantage of precision agriculture, I can tell you that it is little costly to do. Because of all the technological stuff, yeah, the cost will be higher. And now a lot of farmers, they will not have a good expertise uh, with regard to the technology, technical knowledge and technology. So they have to be trained for that. And uh, majority of farmers in our country, India, they either have fragmented or small scale land holdings. This kind of technology can be applied only for a big kind, uh, you know, size land holdings. That is one disadvantage. Next is heterogeneity of cropping systems and market imperfections. So we have to rectify this if this particular concept called as precision farming has to be applied logically in our country, India. But then there are so many benefits. What are the challenges with regard to a country if you see? As per few research, they suggest that educational and economic challenges, they are the most uh, you know, important uh, in the application of precision agriculture. Among all the important variables which contributes to education challenge, the lack of local experts, funds, that is a finance, then knowledgeable research and extension personnel, all these are indeed among the others. So now, the precision agriculture and the initial cost. They have more of an impact among the other economic challenges, guys. And now, a quick look into the current affairs perspective of this. Now, why I taught you precision agriculture is recently, from the current affairs, you can see something called as sensors and sensing for precision agriculture. Recently, a session was conducted. And that was organized by the ICAR and IARI. What are they? Who are they? Indian Council of Agriculture Research, along with Indian Agriculture Research Institute. So, in the discussion of this particular session, these two uh, institute and uh, council, they uh, said that recent advances in the field of sensors, remote sensors, deep learning, AI, that is artificial intelligence and internet things is very much important. Why? For monitoring, reviewing and also quantification of soil, plant and environment. So you can increase the farm productivity with a better output and have a better efficiency and thereby have a good environmental sustainability. So in this current affairs perspective only, this particular topic is being discussed today. Clear? Perfect. Now, the next one. Another important point to be noted is that if you see in the year 2020, there was a summit called as YBUB Summit, which is the Government of India's initiative called as Vaishik Bharatiya Vaidnayak. It was to bring together the thought process, practice, research and development, culture of overseas and also Indian science and academics. So in this particular precision agriculture farming is also part of that. But then if you see there are a lot of research gaps that are identified. If you see if you want to have a sensor, it's quite, uh, you know, costly, I can say. But then development of the indigenous low-cost sensors with the so-called integrated platforms, then robotics, Internet of Things, IoT, the high-level technologies. See, all these things now for a high throughput, uh, you know, you need the phenotyping and also soil and crop health monitoring and management. What is this phenotyping? See, it's a process, okay, wherein you'll start determining, analyzing and or predicting all or let's say part of one particular organism's phenotype that is maybe it could be the observable physical properties of an organism so now that is one of the research gap that they identified here and another important thing is this particular position agriculture is that with regard to the recent session that has been conducted with regard to sensors the big data analytics and modeling for sensor based early reduction of stresses, discrimination, sub which is there in the agricultural sector, which has to be rectified. Otherwise, you cannot think of uh, you know improving this sector, even though you bring in this so-called technology-driven concept, that is precision agriculture. And also the standardized protocols for UAV, UAV, what is that? Unmanned aerial vehicles. That is based on certain imaging guys. Uh, for that, they use different sensors, then inter-sensor calibration, also data analytics for a near real-time crop condition monitoring as also management. So these are the important research gaps that they actually found out. So now it's very important that it's high time that we are suggesting some measures to promote precision farming in spite of the disadvantage or let's say the research gaps that they have found with regard to the so-called concept. One is identify the most important which is called as a niche area for the promotion of crop specific precision farming and also creating a team which is multidisciplinary in nature. So you can start involving agriculture scientists from various fields, you can start involving engineers manufacturers and economists also so they can start studying the overall scope of precision agriculture so it becomes multidisciplinary understanding the agriculture the industrial the economic and also social impact as a whole because of the so-called precision agriculture in farming apart from that you can uh, even uh, another suggestion could be to have a complete technical backup support to farmers so they can develop pilots or models uh, and they can replicate them on a large scale 
and this kind of temporary pilot study i can tell you it should be conducted on farmers field so it will enable them to show uh, the results of precision agriculture implementation they can have belief in that technique and they'll have the interest in learning how the technology is to be used and all and thereby creating an awareness among the farmers about the consequence of applying imbalanced doses that is too much of doses in the agriculture field it will not give them the healthy output or healthy production so stuffs like that has to be uh, you know induced into the brains of farmers so that's all my young officers thank you so much i hope you really enjoyed this class if so do not forget to like share and also put your valuable feedbacks in the comment box and also once again a reminder for you regarding the schedules of my classes in an academy platform free and plus class and there is a upsc csc maha subscription offer going on if you want to be a part of the free or the plus class at an academy the code nisha ias life i repeat nisha ias life will help you to get a lot of discounts and quality classes and personal mentoring with regard to plus platform paid subscription and free class also same thing when you click the link if you apply this code it will take you to my free class at 6 pm and also other carnivals and also you can download the pdf for free clear so thank you so much stay tuned with another set of sessions till then thank you and jai hind